Today, I'm doing a pre-purchase survey of a 2008 Maxim 2700 SE, built in America. Um, it's a good boat, a good ski tow boat, and um, currently I'm up in Lincolnshire. Um, and it's not the obvious place you'd find a boat with a 4.2 litre Mercruiser turbo diesel engine, but there we go. Um, anyway, I'm just inside the engine bay, and I'm just looking at the ventilation setup. And I've talked before about how important it is to make sure that if you have bilge blurs fitted, that they're switched on before you start the engine to clear the engine space of any fuel vapours that might be there. And this is very true after that recent explosion at Axabar 45 in Turkey, which I reported on separately. Anyway, the boat's fitted with a 12 volt uh, inline bilge blur, a negative pressure system, so it sucks air out, and then there's another pipe work to let air in. But the system is fatally compromised. Let me show you what I mean. This is a general view of the layout, looking towards the transom. I'm currently sitting on top of the engine. And down here you can see the two back hoses, which are to provide bilge ventilation. However, the hose on the left is connected to the bilge blur, which sucks air out, and the hose on the right delivers fresh air in. However, there's a problem with both hoses. Let me get in closer. So this is the suction hose, which is attached to the bilge blower. The trouble is, it stops far too short. It's been torn off here. You can see where it should have been, fixed down there, and then it should carry on all the way down to here, where there's a nice lumber hole, so we can suck out the fumes from the bilge. Now this is the hose that's meant to let fresh air in. The trouble here is, someone's blocked it with bubble wrap, so it won't let any fresh air into the engine space. That's nuts. Engine space ventilation is a critical system on any boat. The system has to get fuel vapours out and fresh air in. It's as simple as that. And this system fails on both counts. Hope you found that useful and informative. If you did, check out this video here, where I give my five essential tips to improve the fire safety on your boat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.